Welcome back. Your time now is 542 and showers are ongoing across central Mississippi this morning. Scattered in nature, the heavier showers and storms down to our south and west, some of which are beginning to push into southwest Mississippi and Wilkinson County. But we do expect scattered showers to continue as we go through the morning, much of the afternoon, becoming more numerous and widespread as we get into the early evening hours. But with the showers and with the cloud cover, temperatures really not going to climb much at all. I mean, we're already in the upper 50s, low 60s. We'll only make it into the upper 60s this afternoon. And the average at this time of year is 76 degrees. We're only getting to 67 for Flora, Jackson, Canton, even 68 down in Pelahatchee. Down to the south and west, same story, upper 60s expected. 67 for Fayette, Natchez, Meadville, Brookhaven, even Macomb and Tyler Town. And in the Pine Belt, too, we expect those mid to upper 60s with 66 in Hattiesburg, 68 for Collins and Laurel for this afternoon. So let's time out the rain chances for you. This is starting this morning just after sunrise. Just spotty scattered showers continuing. We may even have a lull in activity as we get into early afternoon, but here's around 4 p.m. early evening hours. Here's those showers moving in to central Mississippi. Some will be heavy in nature, especially the farther south you are, say in Macomb over to Tyler Town and into the Pine Belt, but heavier showers will be possible all across central Mississippi. Just the main place will be in south Mississippi. They'll could linger into south Saturday morning begin to clear out by Saturday afternoon. Clouds will then break up after that. And Sunday does look good to go, but we have to get through today first. We have a level one out of five marginal risk of severe weather just for uh, a small portion of South Mississippi. Main threats being uh, some hail and heavy rain. Gusty winds are possible too. Not only that, we're watching for flash flooding as uh, the ground's already saturated in this area. And we expect about two more inches of rainfall before all said and done. So here's a short wave moving through, bringing in the showers for today. But then everything clears out by Sunday, and things look good to go. A good eight-day forecast with highs in the low 70s. Thanks, Scott.